Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says Singapore's marine and offshore industry must keep upgrading itself to seize opportunities and stay ahead of the competition. He says the challenge is for the industry to stay viable while optimizing land use and reducing its reliance on foreign manpower. Mr Lee pointed to Samcop Marine's new integrated yard as an example of how this can be achieved. It officially opened today. This is part of Samcop Marine's new integrated yard in Tuas. When fully completed, the facility, which spans some 200 hectares, will allow Samcop Marine to consolidate all its yards here. It has also been custom-built to maximise productivity, efficiency and competitiveness. The aim is to create a shipyard of the future, which will significantly increase our productivity. It's a greenfield development, so Samcorp Marine can optimise the layout and facilities, free up the land which it is currently occupying, and then it can be used for some other purpose. The yard also lets workers live on site and have enough time to rest after work, which means they're more productive and efficient while on the job. One interesting feature about this workers' dormitory is its multimedia room. Here, workers can book a four-hour time slot to watch a movie and they can choose from over 80 titles, including popular Bollywood and Hollywood films. Touring the yard today, Mr Lee said the government will continue to work with the marine and offshore industry so it can upgrade and transform itself. This includes enhancing research and innovation capabilities, building talent and skilled manpower, and developing a strong marine and offshore ecosystem. Mr Lee added that other sectors in the economy are being similarly upgraded. This is a way for us to keep Singapore vibrant and forward-looking at the centre of key global and economic trends to enable our manufacturing and our services sectors to grow to complement our marine and offshore hub, to enhance our competitiveness and our ability to service the world. The next phase of the integrated yard is expected to begin operating in the next three to four years.